Good afternoon and greetings from Bishop's RV of the Quad Cities. This is Pete with you here once again. Hey, we've got something really cool and really different to demonstrate today. It's the Imagine AIM. AIM, A-I-M, as in Adventures in Motion. All right, this is a 2023. These are brand spanking new and right hot off the assembly line. Model number on this one specifically is 15RB. Again, presentation is brought to you by Bish's RB here in Eldridge of the Quad Cities. Okay, this has your typical front of an Imagine as you would expect, that aerodynamic swept front with the small mini diamond plate sort of rock chip guard across the front there. You get the power tongue jack as well as the lit docking center lights. Twin 20 pound LP tanks in the deluxe molded easy access top cover carrier. And yeah, yeah, that's where the battery would go. And you can do that for you upon ship out. All right, this, is, this does not have a slide out, this floor plan. We're talking a super ultra light type of a situation here. Unloaded vehicle weight of 3,594 pounds. So it's very, very towable by a wide variety of potential tow vehicles. Check your owner's manual, of course, to get the details on that. All right, got the magnet grabs on the hatch lid and yeah, you saw the light come on there. It's gonna mean motion activated lights. Two of them, not just one, but two. You'll see the other one from the campsite when we get there. Okay, over here we got your tire link enabling you to do wireless tire, remote tire monitoring situation from in the cab or in your vehicle, whatever the case may be. Okay, up above. Hey, did I mention solar action? Ta-da, there we go. Yeah, and it's already equipped and set up with it because this unit does have the solar option on there. That is gonna be the Imagine AIM solar package. Got a single solar unit on the top there. And I'm trying to remember exactly how many watts that has. I'm gonna take a stab at 165. Please double check that in your, in uh, the propaganda materials, if you will, please. Hey, there's your battery shut off switch there. Three opportunities for you to connect up to park cable or a external satellite of your choice. GFCI protected electrical outlet and valve work right there. Here would be your city water connection and exterior shower as well, and the pass-through slug for it to make easy connections right through there, and everything comes up below the skirt, just like you would expect out of any other Imagine, too. Very cool, and unified, and in one place, organized, well, you know the drill. Four integral frame-mounted stabilizer jacks, four of them on there. These are going to be the uh, nitrogen-filled radial tires on there with the deluxe brushed aluminum rims. Black tank flush is included in this unit. That I believe is gonna be standard with the Imagine AIM. Exterior ducted and vented range hood. We'll see that from the inside as well. Unified dumping center here, all in one location. Quick and easy, get you in and out of the dump station in a GIF. Okay, we're talking about uh, hitch weight on your, oh, we talked about the unloaded vehicle weight of 3,594 pounds. We have a hitch weight of 378 pounds. Uh, your GCWR, your gross vehicle weight, uh, I should say GC, gross GVWR, gross vehicle weight weighting is gonna be 4,795 pounds on there. And if you're doing your math, Get your calculator out and double check it, but I'm showing your car carrying capacity in the ballpark of 1,201 pounds. Okay, meanwhile, you're seeing the back side here with the full access walk-on roof with the roof ladder right on there. You are prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision backup camera of your choice. Goes right up there with Furion snap-in. Um, an option you may want to look into on your own. Very easy thing to add on. Hey, down here, we've got our 30 amp electrical services with a twist lock cord set that goes on there. Cord set covers approximately 20 or 25 feet on there. We've got a receiver hitch on the bottom and uh, that's a class two receiver hitch too, by the way, too. You can use an adapter to get that up to the full two inch sized if you're going to use a cargo rack or accessories on the back. It is not intended for towing purposes to the best of my knowledge, at least. So coming across over here past Oh, no, no, we're not gonna come across here. We're not gonna miss this. This is going to be your hot water heater. We're gonna open that up. Why? Well, because we're talking an on-demand system for the water heater. There, get it popped open for you. 
on-demand hot water heater. Now that's gonna be kind of unique for units of this footprint. And that's something definitely worth mentioning. All LED lighting across all around the back and out here everywhere except in the microwave, I bet. Perhaps in the oven too. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay, exterior pull out grill. And that's on the Moride uh, extender system that's on there. It's a capital grill. And it is uh, detachable as well by way of the LP connection for it. So you could connect in and a, a different or an extra grill if you want, or a different uh, option, LP option available because you have the quick connect there. Okay, a generous awning across the front here. I'm going to take a stab at about an 11 and a half foot awning. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close on that one. There with the, and of course that's a power awning too, by the way with the LED lighting out behind it there. Don't forget, you're, you're still talking a small footprint uh, 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 unit here, but you do have grand designs. Uh, full guarantee, full warranty, that legendary warranty that we're used to. Same thing applies here, it's just on a smaller single axle footprint, right? Uh, here is our unified step above staircase. Three steps, easy access there, solid piece staircase. Makes it very easy to deal with there. Your entryway, much like any other, would be swing out D assist handle on there. And last but not least, I guess we should open up our ta da again motion activated lighting on this side, too. Pass through storage. You are prepped for the easy addition of an optional inverter if you wish, and that could be done right in behind that panel there because it is prepped, it is an option to consider for you. All right, here are some of the accessories that it comes with on there. There's the cord set as we had spoken of earlier. And a quick look across the front, ta-da, from this side here. All right, we're going to step on to the inside with another reminder. This presentation is coming to you, compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. On the inside, this is the Hearthstone interior decor. Hearthstone decor other decor options may be available as we go down the tracks simply inquire regarding availability okay here we go with the fire distinguisher and radius cut door with balance up above on it as well here's going to be the dinette and the cool thing to point out on the dinette is down underneath here no more clunky tubes to deal with when you're trying to deal with up and down with the table, how does that go? Why? Well, because you have those two little collets on there. And they just simply pop them loose, push the table down, and you're down, or pull them loose, and it does have assist behind it, so it makes it very easy to lift it up. You don't have to grunt and groan and break your back over it. No, easy to set that back down. You could easily accommodate four people total, grand, grand total sleeping accommodations in here. Oh. Large window. This is a very large accommodating window in here. Flat screen HD TV in the ballpark of a 30 inch HD TV. Thermostat in behind it there and storage underneath. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, don't hold me to it, but I believe there is some storage underneath here. Let's go on into everyone's favorite room. Yep. You know, the John, the can, the, you know, you know the drill. Okay. Here is our marine grade foot plush stool pretty much your everyday Dometic foot flush stool on it there. And that's going to be a plastic stool, not the porcelain ones. This is your shower, about a 10 inch hop from the ground up into the shower. Full shower surrounded the disappearing shower door, a little all the way up. And there you go with the, well, you know, with the skylight overhead. Again, you know the drill. Got a window in behind here with the balance and the treatment on there. To boot let's take a look over to this direction for your lavatory accommodations and since we're in the lavatory in the restroom area here might as well talk about some of our tank capacities on here we're talking about a fresh tank capacity of 42 gallons 74 gallons for gray and 37 gallons black so that's some generous tank figures, again, for a smaller footprint unit, don't forget. Okay, there's a crank up vent, 
right there. I am running the bathroom vent on the other crank up vent. Now this is something cool. Not just a refrigerator, but a dedicated freezer. This is the Norcold refrigerator. We'll get that part out of the way once we leave that open for you. Oh, but wait, there's more. Just like the big boys do. Pull out freezer accommodation underneath here. Way cool. I just love that. So there you go. Uh, and you're probably going to wonder about the cubic footage on the refrigerator. Well, you'll probably have to learn that from the propaganda. Because I wasn't equipped with that information before starting the camera. Please look that up, though. It's certainly better than your average dorm refrigerator, especially considering the freezer down below. Okay, exterior ducted and vented range hood. That is immediately above the two burner range top. We'll fold that open right there. That's to maximize your counter space there. You're probably wondering why not three or four burners? Well, you know, why not a tandem axle two or not? Well, anyway. It's a smaller footprint unit. Down below here, microwave action. There's your fuse panel. And again, to maximize your counter space, we have the indwelling sink right through here. Easy to work with that. Pop it up and away you go. Ta-da. Just like that. Egress window is over here. Now, we're getting over to the sofa. And this is a really cool thing. This is slightly different than most units that utilize the Murphy bed concept do. This is pretty clever, I think. You've got the pull out, the cup holders right here. And bear in mind, I'm gonna be doing this one-handed too. All right, we're talking about a roller sofa here, not just a jackknife. Roll it out. And that makes a very generous sized day bed if you wanted to use it in that manner or place to curl up for a nap or maybe for Fido or the kids or whoever. Then the Murphy bed. Again, I'm doing this with one hand. So this is just as easy as can be. Fits in beautifully here. No more monkeying around trying to get it, yanking it down, dealing with a a mattress that doesn't cooperate or whatever. Nope, that was just as easy as can be. All right, over to Oh, wait, we have, the, we have the turn signals on again. No, actually not. One push of the button, you have it a nightlight. Have it set for a nightlight. Over here, two pushes of the button, and you've got a reading light. That is way cool. I love those things. Got them on my unit. Oh, you probably heard that before. I won't go into that again. Over to here, you can think about CPAP machine or anything else you want to plug in over there. You do have USB and 110 volt access on either side. Charge your cell phones, your iPad, what have you in there at night. Plenty of power capabilities there. Shirt closets on each side and this glorious backlight there. Night effect backlight. And the switch for that is down underneath there. So it's very easy to shut that off when it's nighty night time too. All right, we're gonna fold the bed back up, if for no other reason, just to show you how quick and easy this can be. With one hand again, bearing, bearing that in mind, right? There are four floor plans for the Imagine AIM. This is obviously only one of four. Flip the sofa back up. And you can check with us about the availability of the other ones. I am certain we would entertain that possibility for you as well. There you go. Now, around the corner over to here, you've got systems monitor panel with all the information on it. First off though, you do have your on-demand hot water heater system that's activated right there. And then your generic, you know, uh, it's motion activated too, by the way, with your uh, systems monitor panel on there, very quick and easy, plus your awning deployment switch as well. Up on the roof here. Uh, and you know what? I'm not prepared to say just to how many BTUs there are on the air conditioning system. It's not ducted, but then again, it shouldn't have to be on a smaller, again, smaller footprint unit, right? You know the drill. So there you got it. Okay, 
Overall length on here, we're talking, we're, we're going to call it 20 feet overall length. Now, by the literature, we're talking 19 foot 11 inch. Well, okay, so you mean, you know, there you go. And so we're going to talk about 20 uh, foot overall length here. I think we've covered everything we can, everything I can think of inside this 2023. Imagine AIM, Adventures in Motion, the AIM Travel Trailer. Floor plan on this one again, 19RB, that rear bath. And one last time, this presentation comes to you, compliments of Bish's RV here in the Quad Cities. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.